fine stroke uh, with Elga getting into position. He's making sure he hit it back where it came from. Always nice to pick that gap between the bowler and Meron. And that's his area. He likes to hit the ball more to the onside. I get the feeling that he likes that area. Nicely played. A little bit of width. Guards it behind, square in the offside. To pick up his third boundary of the day. And that's as good as you'll see from Dino go through the covers. Brilliantly played. I think right from the word go today, Algers looked like he's wanted to hit the ball a little bit more today. He's played a couple of beautiful drives down the ground. And this one just a little bit of wit. Lovely batting. Waited and waited that time. He just had the width to work with. Yeah, win for the bats from there, but uh, I don't mind the tactics from Australia. The, there's no swing, no seam. Pitching the ball up hasn't had its rewards. Oh, pre-med probably, but a powerful one. Yep. Almost predicted from Elgar, and that's his 50. Two boundaries in the over. He's looked far more assured today. Gut start of 50 in Port Elizabeth. 12th, 5th, and the ball goes down. Punch. Nice punch. That's a bit of a trademark shot, that one today, from Dean Elgar. Yeah, I've seen a couple of examples of this shot from Dean Elgar. He's played it superbly well. saw three in one over of Mitchell Marsh. That's a helmet. Was there any bats? Just a half shot, really. Nothing more than that. Steve Smith's always uh, quite keen to send it upstairs if he thinks there's any chance. Strike. Man, it's short extra cover. All down the pitch and a bit of footwork, a little dance. And a glorious example of timing. Well, we haven't seen this or much of this. Use of the feet to Nathan Lyon and punched nicely through the gap. And again, Elgar down the pitch, and this time hits it the other way with immaculate timing. Two strokes to save her from Elgar against Lyon. Well, oh, goodness me, how did he get that there? Now he comes down and over, up and over. Plenty good enough. On this occasion, decides he's not quite the, the length, and just good swing of the bat. It's good timing. Well played too. It's really well played. Dean Elk does a little run here. He's got himself into the 80s. Catch, drop, missed. One or the other. Doesn't matter. It's four. Better luck for Dean Elgar. Thick outside edge, just beating Steve Smith at second slip. Can you believe it? A little bit of shape away there. He drew out the drive. Dean Elgar, look at that. He thought he was out. No. I'll take the four. Thank you very much. 91. Oh, I look like he just went past it too much. Might be that bad shoulder. And that's a lovely shot there from Dino. We've seen a lot of examples of good cover drives from him. And there's another one. In Port Elizabeth, when he was driving, he didn't really get his weight transfer through the ball, and he was a little bit tentative there. But today he's been really good. This is an excellent shot. It's a hard volley. Mitchell Stark looking for some swing. But Dean Elgar got into a beautiful position and his timing and placement was spot on. Brilliant shot from Dean Elgar. He knew as he middles it that it's going to go way to the boundary and the celebrations can begin. A fantastic knock here by Dean Elgar. He's 11th second against Australia and second at Newlands. Played fantastically well, and as you watch this package, watch how many cover drives and straight drives are played by Dean. Not a massive strength of his, but he's been at his best throughout this hundred that he's compiled here at Newlands. He talked about the drives, also the way he played Nathan Lyon. We saw him try and advance a few times. This one down the ground for six. I thought the real key was how late he played the ball. Watch where he hits some of these drives right under his eyes. His head was still. And that's the moment, 100 view, little beauty. Well deserved, Dean Elgar. 182, 16 balls and a six. He's played really, really good. Oh, there's extra bounce. 
hard kookaburra. Yeah, a bit of extra bounce with this hard ball. And on top at the moment. That's over the top and well hit. 50 partnership comes up. And the umpire just checking to see if it was four or six. I think it's Joss Hazelwood ran up to bowl. If you had to give him 55 options about what might possibly unfold in the next delivery, if he landed it on the length, this would have been his last one that he would have picked. He now got just to pop him back over his head. And it's brilliantly played. Slightly overpitched, just holds the post, drags it from the offside. And I'm not 100% sure whether that just bounces before. Does it hit it on the, on the full? Well, you could go either way with that footage. Go for it. Eh? Until the last ball. That's why he's getting such a welcome round of applause. Could have gotten to 150 if he had a bit more support in the lower order, but a fantastic knock nonetheless.